What's up guys, welcome to Jared Strength and Fitness. In this video, we're gonna be watching Shamar Moore's SWAT workout, his chest and shoulder workout. Obviously, Shamar Moore is from SWAT, the TV show, and if you don't know that, you probably remember him from Criminal Minds. Anyway, dude's a stud. I'm sure there's gonna be a decent workout, but we're gonna watch it, break it down. You know how the whole entire thing goes. If you want other reaction videos, it is right up in here. Uh, go check those out. Obviously, we're gonna roll those out more and more. Uh, obviously the more come out you can say hello but it's only true Welcome back to my channel. Obviously on this channel, JR Strength and Fitness, we are gonna be breaking down all things personal training, whether that is general exercise science information, whether that is these reaction videos, workouts, etc. or I'm gonna be breaking down a lot of the business aspect of personal training. If you are planning on being a personal trainer, how to be successful in the field. But yeah, again, full disclaimer, while I'm an exercise professional, please do not do anything that I say or do just because I say it or do it. Obviously, see professional in person, a physician, etc. before actually doing any sort of physical activity. And as always, if you are new here, please like and subscribe. Let your friends know about me. We're going to be rolling things out a little bit more often as I start to get things just rolling and doling and everything, you know me. But like I said, we have Shamar Moore's workout video. So we're just going to get right into it because I have nothing else to say and it's probably pretty boring just listening to me talk. All right, guys. Let's get it. Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Shamar Moore. You may know me as Hondo from SWAT, baby. Hondo, tell me you got something. Finish that sentence. Stay there. This is where when nobody's looking, we work hard. We get it done. What I do, I, I'm, I'm looking to be a soccer player meets a boxer. That's what looks best on TV. That's what makes me feel good in life. So that's a little bit of cardiovascular, weight training, cross training. So today you're gonna to see a little bit of all of that. So let's get started. Okay, I like that aspect. I wanna be a cross between a soccer player and boxing. Two of the most conditioned athletes in the world. So I like it. <laughs> that little snippet of his whole SWAT thing, that is exactly how he was in Criminal Minds. So no surprise there, but all right, let's check it. All right, so exercise one, bench press. About to get it started, yeah. but I, I'd be a miss if I didn't introduce the man that makes it happen for me. This is my partner in crime. This is my trainer extraordinaire. He's also my dear, dear friend, Mr. John Aranita, the owner of In Training, right there. The man, the myth, the legend. Let's All do right. this. All right, to start this workout, we're gonna do a little bench press. Gonna pop it up. Then we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna do what's called explosion push-ups. And that's basically a push-up where you push as hard as you can and see how high off the ground you can get. Let your hands leave the ground, come back, and go right back into it. You try to get 10 to 15, and if you're feeling like you're a boss, get to 20. So we do bench press, explosion push-ups, and then we go to cable crosses. So it's all for the chest. Cable cross, you take the cable and you'll see. You push it right in front of you, you squeeze your pecs together, and it just gives you that nice round torso. Okay, I don't think these are in a set. I think they are one after the other. Like, I think it's four sets and then one set of the explosive push-up and then the crossover because otherwise that would be quite the overload, the compounding on that from going from a bench press to an explosive push-up to a cable crossover. Now, obviously I don't know that, but I guess hopefully we can clarify that. The beginning part of the workout is standard, but this room, this is where I get a little bit of an attitude problem with my trainer, but you gotta do it. All right, this right here is what we call the standard military barbell press. My trainer loves this because I hate this. Look at that, let's go. It's no joke. It's just taking a whole bunch of weight and it's your shoulders and back. You gotta just say one, two, three. <laughs> no shame in the game, man. Push Ooh. it up, push it up. And it's sometimes it's 10 times, sometimes it's 15 times, but every time it's too much. And John knows I hate it, so he just doesn't let me stop. Okay, on the overhead press, so notice using a little bit of a leg drive so it's becoming more of a push press so which is not a bad thing you're still going to use the shoulders and arms but it's not restricted to just the upper body now now you have a little leg drive so you can do that 
and it'll be full body at that point. But if you're trying to like isolate the shoulders and the arms, prioritize that, then you probably want to keep it strict. So no movement of the lower body. The other part is there is a little bit of a kind of just leaning back and pressing up like this way, which is totally fine. There's like an angle right there. Some people actually cannot get perfectly vertical, which is totally fine. Some people will sit on a bench at an 85 degree angle instead of the 90 degree because at that 85, that is where they are naturally set with their shoulder. They just don't have the mobility to actually like reach back here. They're stuck here, which is mobility issue we can solve it at a different time but obviously if you're going to do the overhead press if you can get the head and chest through then you'll get the most out of the press so this right here is the rope tricep extension and you basically grab up on these ropes you got to throw your body Ooh. down underneath the rope and you got to push yourself up that my looks right like side it is sucks. i think i can i think i can my left side went to sleep but this is how you get it done. Those flat out suck. I love my trainer, but I hate my trainer. When he makes me do those. Yeah, that is more than just a tricep extension. That is some gnarly core work right there because he was in an extended plank position and he held it pretty good too. So think about doing like a skull crusher, but upside down, obviously just hang in there. So that's what that looked like. Obviously, that looks pretty rough. So mad props to actually doing that. All right, whether you're hanging at the pool or you're wearing those tight little t-shirts that I wear on SWAT, you gotta have the biceps and you gotta have the triceps together. All nice. right, so what you're about to see is alternate curls, one at a time, right, left, right. So you focus on each bicep by itself and you go until you fail. And that's how you get that nice little ball bicep going. Then, this one, I don't tell my trainer this, but I'm pretty good at it. So whenever he says you wanna do dips, I'm like, nah, really? We gotta do dips. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, baby, I got this. You just throw your body down and push yourself up. For whatever reason, I can do those, but don't tell my trainer. Okay, so weightlifting portion. So you have obviously the bench press, you had the explosive push-ups, the cable chest fly. So three exercises for the chest, one exercise for the shoulder, and then you had the arms, the tricep extension, the brutal rope tricep extension, and then obviously the alternating bicep curl. Pretty standard as far as the bicep curl goes. Obviously, we don't know everything, so that's obviously something we have to consider at all times when we're talking about these exercises. But bench press, pretty standard as far as building an upper body, chest, strength, etc. The explosive push-ups is interesting, but obviously you can add that as a compound of almost contrast training in order to kind of get that illicit explosive effect to it. And especially for something like him with a kind of SWAT roll, yeah, that, that would make a lot of sense. And then obviously the overhead press, pretty standard as far as the actual shoulder building. Nothing beats the overhead press if you want to get massive shoulders. So for the most part, pretty straightforward. And I just want to add this in there, just a little side note. If you want to attack your triceps, the most optimal way to do it is to hit all three heads by reorienting the shoulder. So obviously with my shoulders straight down, zero degree of, uh, of flexion, this is flexion. So zero degrees where my arm is straight down, like a tricep extension with the cable machine, that's going to work a certain head, obviously 90 degree like a skull crusher, and then obviously up overhead like an overhead tricep extension. Those are going to work the different heads of the triceps. So if you're trying to build the triceps, all three of those positions of the shoulder. All right, so that right there is the weight lifting portion of my workout, okay? But we ain't done. Oh, we got a long way to go. So we're going to go head outside. You're going to proceed to watch me get my ass kicked in the circuit training part of it. You're going to have a good time. I'm not. Come check Sounds this like out. a lot of cardio. Fun cardio. When I'm lifting weights, when I'm lifting heavy weights, that's just you know I'm putting on size. You, you, you team up with your diet, and you team up with how you lift weights. And so weights will give you the size that you want. It'll give you the look that you want. But then you also gotta take care of your core. You gotta take care of your flexibility. And that's where CrossFit comes in. Okay, I didn't know it was like CrossFit. I pretty sure it was just kind of cross training, but whatever. Anyway, so you had three different exercises in there you had the batter ropes the tire flips and the sledgehammer swings i love all three of those things they're fun to do and obviously effective you ever sledgehammer swing for 30 seconds that's a long time batter rope super effective tire flipping awesome full body workout 
and 30-30, that's a good split. A 1-1 ratio is pretty good and pretty standard in order to actually get decent recovery and actually maximize the amount of time you are actually involved in the movement. Three sets of each thing, pretty standard. Yo, yo, yo. So, after you beat yourself up, you gotta beat yourself up some more, but this is the end of the workout. This is how I finish it. Whether I'm doing weights, whether I'm doing crossfit, flipping tires, whatever it is, come out of here. Keep my heart rate up, burn out my shoulders, a little it. speed bag, and jump a little rope, and then take it to the house. So here we go. Okay. You lift some weights, you do some CrossFit, you burn your muscles, but don't get it twisted. Whatever you do in the gym, I don't care how far you run, how heavy you lift. Getting lean and mean starts in the kitchen with your diet. It's your diet. If your diet ain't right, you can drive yourself crazy in the gym. You might get a little stronger, but you're not gonna get prettier. You're not gonna get sexy if your diet is twisted. I'm telling you. All right. Well, as you can see, I'm out of gas. I'm out of gas for the right reason. I don't take nothing for granted. You guys, for whatever reason, were paying attention to me and gave me a shot. I appreciate it. It means I'm doing something right. And uh, because of this, I'm just going to keep on fighting to be bigger and better. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Peace. All right, sweet. That was short and sweet. So basically, the last portion of that is just a little kind of a extra conditioning at the end kind of almost like the burnout aspect i like to say any sort of boxing whether you are speed bagging or heavy bag work grappling even those things are exhausting honestly boxing was perhaps one of my favorite things to do as a conditioning circuit just because a it's you don't even think too much how hard it is you're just doing it because it's actually very engaging, but it is very effective. And in my personal opinion, jump roping is the most underutilized aspect of conditioning. Obviously, people will view it as just the kind of schoolyard exercise thing, but for the most part, it is by far one of the most effective forms of conditioning, of cardio. Like, it is compact, so there's impact. That's something you have to consider, but at the same time, it's very scalable. You can have different ways of jump roping, obviously single stepping, speed stepping, even double undering. So there are ways in order to scale it up or scale it down. So for the most part, those two are very effective to throw in at the end. Overall, I like the workout. That's a pretty like solid workout. Obviously it's focused on chest, shoulders, and arms. So obviously there's probably a different day for back, different day for legs, etc. But they hit the main compound movements. That was the main thing. Obviously threw in some volume for those exercises for the arms, etc. And then obviously the conditioning part. 30-30 splits on the battle ropes, tire flips, and head sledgehammer swings. So pretty effective. And then obviously just tailed it out with some speed back and jump rope work. That sounds like a pretty solid workout. And if you do that like three times a week, you will be set. And what he said too as far as the diet goes, so yeah, you can train your butt off, but if you don't have the right diet, you can, nothing's going to matter. You got to train and you got to train and you got to train and you got to eat. So overall, that's all I got to say about it. I thought it was actually pretty freaking awesome. Like it makes me want to go like hit the speed back or jump rope for a little bit. So, so yeah. And I don't know how old Shamar Moore is, but Oh God, I want to say he's like probably close to, you know, maybe like 50, 50 something, but looks like late thirties. Like, all right, like dude's doing something right. Anyway, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Again, if you need more of those reaction videos, boom, link is right there. And again, please like, and subscribe, let your friends know about me. And until next time. You can say hello, but I don't need you